already said not just in that video and in other videos in the last week or two that Federer he needs to raise his level he's playing okay and sometimes looking good on the court but his level isn't high enough he's in a very very vulnerable position level wise and 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 luckily he ain't playing like a the Djokovic and somebody on that caliber, and even less than that, man, he could have problems against a Tissipas or a Zareb. So I already went over that. The Federer needs to raise that level, okay? Stay in that super level mode somewhat, whether low super level, or high super level, medium super level. So people, I got a question. I want to, um, I was just thinking. Now, yo, I made a video a couple weeks ago where I said that I have officially retired retired Federer and I know people read well nobody came back stupid nobody everybody understood what I was saying because when you look at the title some people be saying magic man do you mean that you think Federer should retire and I explained in the video and I think everybody understood no I was just saying Federer he doesn't have anything that's to prove to me if he um um if he retires now, it's okay I, because he, he doesn't have anything that's approved to me because I've already put him in the Super Super Tennis Hall of Fame. He's already arguably the GOAT. He's already on the Mount Everest of the greatest of all time, arguably. Uh, he's already on the Mount Rushmore. So whether Federer win or loses, it doesn't really matter to me that much. That's what I mean by officially retiring him. Now, here's what I was thinking about. Okay, has Federer officially retired himself? Now, that's a deep question right there, meaning, okay. Now, of course, somebody would say, well, imagine, man, now Federer hasn't given up. I didn't say that. But has Federer, is he sort of thinking the way I'm thinking that, okay, I've already done all my stuff that I can do. If I can win another major, you know, I try to play a, a couple more years or two or three more years. You know, maybe I can sneak one in a tournament. Maybe things will go my way in the tournament. Maybe the Djokovic get upset and the Dow get upset. Or maybe the lever clicker. Or maybe I can beat those guys on some given day. Maybe they don't be playing as well. Or maybe my lever just click high and I just straight up beat them. And so I just hang around and see what happens, you know, being very optimistic. But people, does Federer sort of think the way I'm thinking? And, and, and the reason I'm saying this also, people, now, I think Federer still has a desire to win more majors. And he plays hard. He gives his best for the fans. He ain't like Kyrgios out there tanking games or something like that. Or, or subtly tanking. Or not really caring. I do think Federer still cares about winning on the court. But people, I was just thinking, you know, listen. Federer got that uh, $300 million contract with, uh, what, uh, Uniqlo now. Uh, Uniqlo. And, um... Uh, he got so many other great business uh, uh, achievements. And it's Federer in his mind like... Uh, and the reason I'm bringing up the business stuff and the big contracts Federer has gotten. It's Federer like, you know what, man? Um, when you get like... I'm, I'm going to try to... It's sort of like LeBron James, people. LeBron James has made a lot of great business decisions. And that's part of his achievement. So Federer has his business achievements also sort of... Taking the place a little bit. This ain't necessarily bad. As long as he's still giving his all on the court. But it's Federer like, man, I'm just like, I'm just not a tennis player on the court. I got a lot of achievements business-wise off the court. So even if I'm not playing well now, 
It's okay. It ain't like I'm a loser on the court. I'm a business winner on the court too. So I guess what I'm saying is, Federer could be like this here. You know, even if you know, some people may be saying, well, Federer, why don't you retire? You sucking on the court now. You can't win anymore. Well, Federer, listen, people. I'm saying Federer, man, Federer is probably thinking in his mind, man, I'm making some of the greatest business decisions of my life. So Federer is still in his mind achieving. So you may say, well, imagine, man, what? Okay, great. We understand that. Federer has made some great business decisions. And so, and that's part of his uh, tennis career achievements. But what has that got to do with Federer? Could he have already clocked out? And nobody and nobody really knows it except for him. Well, what I mean by clocked out, well, maybe he's like this here. If he didn't have all these great business decisions, he, he could feel like, oh, well, I'm like a loser right now. And maybe I should retire. So maybe Federer has... Federer, maybe Federer's tennis self-esteem, it doesn't just include his own court achievements, such as Master Series and Slams. Maybe now he also thinks, and this is fine, that his tennis career, which is, is his tennis achievements is also his business decisions, like with Uni Uniqlo, okay? So he may be thinking like that. And, uh, and uh, I'm just trying to think, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that maybe Federer, uh, because he got all these great business decisions too, he doesn't like lose confidence or, or get down on himself because he's not playing as well on the court or losing matches. He may be thinking, hey, man, all these business decisions I got is part of my tennis career. So I'm still a winner. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think Federer, even if he uh, uh, accepts and I think he accepts. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Because this is sort of difficult what I'm trying to explain. I think Federer accepts. Even if he, I think he accepts uh, uh, that he's not winning now. I don't think he's that frustrated. Because he's probably saying in his mind, I got all these great business adventures that I'm doing. And so I'm still great tennis wise. My career is still great right now. He knows he's cemented as arguably the GOAT. But I'm saying even right now, I think Federer, he got so much going on business-wise with tennis that he still feels good about himself. So, so even if Federer... So, so, so because, so let me get, let me relate this back to the title. So you probably said, how is this related to the title or of, has Federer officially retired himself the way I have officially retired Federer? Well, maybe Federer is saying, well, I've already, I got all these big business decisions. If I don't win any more majors, okay, so be it. That's what I mean by that Federer could have already officially retired himself. It don't. It doesn't mean he's not going to try to win. He's going to try to win. But if he doesn't win any more majors, it's okay. Okay, people. It got so. I thought this was going to be easy for me to explain. Uh, if I think the video ain't good enough and it ain't explained well enough, because I'm not saying Federer has given up, but I think Federer is a. Uh, he can be happy even losing now because his his tennis career has gone so far. His success uh, uh, with his career is way beyond just his own court play now. And I and like I say, that three hundred million dollar contract. Don't tell me, man. A federal listen, man. With that three hundred million dollar contract he got with Uniqlo Uni, Uni now, man, don't listen. Don't tell me Federer ain't like man. I nailed that. <laughs> I made it win the U.S. Open this year, but I nailed that three hundred million. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm saying. Okay, people, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, signing off. Have a good one.